Hi, people often ask me if they can use an access database to set up a system of reminders or alerts based on information in the database. So this, is, this video will show you one way you might go about doing that. There are probably a lot of different ways you could set up the reminders, but they're all going to be based on sorting through data and looking for certain criteria such as deadlines approaching or boxes being checked or unchecked or that kind of thing. So you're going to want to set up either queries or functions that are going to look at your data and bring out ones that meet certain criteria and prompt you to do some, take some kind of action. So in this database, this is a customer orders database. We have customers who place orders for items and if there's a problem with their order, they call in and report an issue. The user enters the issues and checks certain boxes depending on what kind of issue it is. There can be follow-up required, the issue can be urgent, and when the issue has been handled, the user marks it done. So the reminder screen sorts through the issues table and prompts the users when there are urgent or outstanding issues, or if issues have been entered and none of the checkboxes have been checked, which means that the um, record is missing data. So what this does is it, on the onload procedure of the form, I have some VBA code. The VBA code is um, doing sort of the same thing that conditional formatting might do, but it's just a little bit more sophisticated. Basically, I've created three scenarios. We have urgent follow-ups, basic follow-ups, and missing data. And I've created a decount function for each of the scenarios, which tells, um, which, which describes the criteria for each issue. For example, the first one is follow-up urgent, and the criteria for that are that the urgent checkbox is checked and the done checkbox is not checked and so forth with all three scenarios. Then in the case of existing uh, records for each criteria, the captions on the screen will say either you have a certain number of follow-ups outstanding or you have no outstanding issues. So I'm gonna go back to the screen so you can see how this works. So on load for this form, it counted four urgent follow-up issues in the, in the table. I can view them. That button simply opens up a subform that was not visible on load, but becomes visible at the press of the button. And the three buttons merely filter that table based on the exact same criteria um, for the, uh, the three situations. And then once I, I make a change, so this, this third um, scenario with the missing data, if I go and correct the problem and then refresh, I now have no outstanding issues in the missing data problem. If I go to the follow-ups and mark any of them done and then refresh, I now only have three urgent follow-ups. The other thing that's handy on this particular in this particular example is that if you want to do the same actions in the customer record, you can click the customer ID and it will take you there so that you can examine the issues within the context of the customer. So that is the reminders and alerts database.